there is a lot of talent, you'd have to say, in the South, especially through the Carolinas and Georgia. You may remember a reality show called uh, The Biggest Loser. Mm-hmm. And then you had the Parms that were on that. Yeah. Phil and Amy. Well, they're from the South. They're from the Carolinas and Georgia. Now we have on America's Got Talent. You ready for this? Mm-hmm. Benton Blunt. He is here this morning, especially after last night's performance. Dude, that was off the hook, man. Thank you very much. That was absolutely amazing. How do you feel being on America's Got Talent? I mean, this is, you're a stay-at-home dad. Yeah, um, it's it's been it's been a journey for sure because it's been. I, I still try to to balance that out to make sure that I'm still the right kind of stay-at-home dad while I'm trying to pursue this too. So on top of the already the stresses of doing the 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 show, I'm trying to make sure that I'm doing all the right stuff at home too. So it's it's pretty intense, but it's it's amazing at the same time. Always been a stay-at-home dad. Well, I mean, he's uh, he'll be two years old uh, here in a couple weeks, and uh, ever since we had him, I, we decided that since I play music on the weekend, that's basically what I did for a living before, that I would just stay home and take care of him, and we would figure out the, the extras as we went along, so... He is the coolest looking guy. Oh, he's. I he, have to tell you. Yeah, I, I look at him and, and wish that I actually had curly hair when I was a young kid like that. <laughs> believe it or not, and uh, I think I decided I want it cut off because I didn't want curly hair. And then God decided to say, "Well, fine, you don't get hair at all." So take it away. <laughs> yeah. Except for right on the face, exactly, with a yeah. long beard, yeah. <laughs> yeah. which is really cool. <laughs> now I, I looked at their um, Instagram. And I saw the coolest post from somebody from the military mm-hmm. who's a fan who wants you to win this whole thing. And he had the hashtag oh, Squadra yeah. Benton. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. Um, I've always been a big supporter of the military. A lot of my family members served. And uh, I think my, my fans and my friends know how much that that means to me. So seeing that one actually gave me a lot of a lot of motivation for, for doing what, what we're doing now. And, and how about this guy right here who is a baseball hall of famer? He gave you this message. Hey, America. This is Phil Naker. I got elected to Baseball Hall of Fame in 1997. Watch this Tuesday night at 8 o'clock, NBC, America's Got Talent. And look for my friend, Benton Blunt. Okay. <laughs> what was that like when you saw that? Oh, it was awesome. I, I, uh, I met uh, Morton Anderson, a uh, football player, and he, he does a lot of stuff for the military. And we did a, an event down in Atlanta, and it was sitting at the table. It was Phil and it was Ron White, the comedian, and it was Morton Anderson, and a couple other people, and we just kind of talked and hit it off. And I was sitting with all these just mega stars, and it's just me sitting in the corner with bald head and the beard. And <laughs> they they liked the music that I sang, and then I got that in a an email from them the other day. So that was awesome to get for sure. Now you play for Jackson, your son, all the time. Your little two year old. I do. Um, I, I can't play as much as I want to because he wants to play drums and guitar and everything else now. So if I pick up my guitar, he's already beating on it with a drumstick or something like that. But he loves music. He'll take my guitar and try to play it himself. Now, when you performed last night on America's Got Talent, mm-hmm. he was in the crowd, and that was something special for you, wasn't it? Oh, absolutely. Um, we we decided, especially with me being a stay-at-home dad, uh, financially it was kind of tough because they don't cover everything. Um, but I wanted to have my family there, so we, we just figured out how to fly them up to, to the show, and they ended up using them for a lot of the segments of the show. And just to have them out in the crowd and me play for him the first time was pretty pretty cool experience. Could you see him when you were up there? Because I know the lights are like in your eyes. You can't see anything. Yeah, when I went out, I couldn't see him, and that's why I, I'm glad I got to see him give me the little thumbs up at the beginning because I couldn't find him when I was first walking out, but probably like... 10 seconds into the song i finally locked on to where they were at so i could kind of look over at him a couple times we've been hearing you perform these country songs on america's got talent but the truth is you got your start in the church right oh yeah i uh (laughs) i was kind of thrown into the lion's den per se to to doing music and it was through the church because i had a friend one summer that asked me to be in a a praise and worship band at a first baptist church they were starting the very first contemporary service and and I didn't even sing in the shower at the time. And the, the music director asked me if he could buy me a bass if I'd learn how to play it. I don't know if it's because I talked low. He figured I could play a low instrument too. But bought me the bass. I was really, really bad at it. Horrible at it. And uh, I would sing along to the songs to try to figure out where I was at. And the, the first practice we had, uh, he said, you're not good at bass, but you sing really good. So I became 
one of the worship leaders. And then that first weekend, I had to play for a thousand people, and then the rest is history. Like sixteen years later. Wow. So the church definitely kind of I, I I learned everything that I do currently from playing in church. And how is your faith helping you as you are kind of thrust into the spotlight through this show? Um, I think pe- people, every everybody that knows me, whether they met me at playing in a, a saloon or a honky tonk when we're on the road playing country music, they know that I have a strong faith and I, I put it on my records that I put out. Um, so th- the encouragement I get from people that some of them don't even go to church a lot is pretty awesome. Um because they see somebody coming into an environment where that's not normally portrayed that much, and I'll put it right in the middle of a show when people wouldn't expect that to happen. Um, so that definitely um, using that to to just reinforce who I am kind of keeps me in check too. Because I know that people that aren't even really churched are looking at that and looking at my witness as I'm walking along too. That's being light and darkness, man. Oh, it's 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 awesome and scary all at the same time because when you walk into that you definitely are getting uh you're getting the worst from the devil because he definitely doesn't want you there so it's 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 a it's it's a cool thing to be able to do though i I enjoy it what was your last trip to new york city uh when we did those rounds that just came on Mm -hmm. uh was probably and it's been at least three or four months ago it was the the auditions herself were almost a year ago mm. I, I was actually a year younger when i did the auditions and mm. then, so we've been sitting on the last these two episodes that showed for a long time feels like 10 years was that the first time in new york city for you uh it was and I actually they they filmed that in a like a movie set studio in long island mm-hmm. um and with my family there it was hard to really travel around so i've never actually been to new york city itself yet so now you're radio. going to manhattan dude yeah i'm going right into the middle of it <laughs> yeah my first performance was going to be pretty pretty crazy you're gonna love it i'm, I'm looking forward to it I, i'm a country guy at heart and that's why I, I moved here from nashville tennessee um and actually moved to nashville tennessee from bowdy's north carolina which isn't too far from here so i went from country to city and I got in the city and realized that I loved the Carolinas so much I needed more of the country. So Greenville was like the perfect match of everything because you got the city and it's uh-huh. growing. And then you got the country and you can drive out in the middle of nowhere in five minutes. It's awesome. That's so cool. And August 11th is the big day. You'll be live at Radio City Music Hall. Yeah, and this is – you actually said the date the very first time anybody's ever heard it. And I haven't even posted it on Facebook or anything. So that's that's the first – The very first notice of when the first performance will be, well, August 11th. Awesome. You heard it here first. That's right. (laughs) What You get to Radio City Music Hall. What are you hopeful for? Um, Obviously, I'd love to move on and get farther in the competition. This is technically the quarterfinals. So you've got the quarterfinals where Mm -hmm. there's going to be 32 people, I think, and then they're going to narrow that down to 16 for the semifinals, and then it's the finale, and that's the end. So I'm only technically two rounds from the very end of the show. Um, so I'd love to get there, but if nothing else, I just want to make sure that, that I do my best um, on a stage like that and that kind of opportunity for people to see who I am and, and what I'm about and all the songs that I sing, even if it's like Jolene from the other night, which isn't about me, but people can tell about me by the way that I sing. So I tried to represent that by the way I sang the song. And I was going to try to do that again and, and have a good time and enjoy it and let my family experience it and it'll be something that i think my son's finally old enough where he might not even forget it so. that's awesome well you stay strong in your faith man as you're going through that journey absolutely yeah we're definitely praying for you, you got some fans around here uh, yeah yeah thank you very much <laughs>